Welcome to Today in Nerd History. How the Grinch Stole Christmas aired December 18, 1966. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a television special directed and co-produced by Chuck Jones. It is based on the children's book by Dr. Seuss, the story of the Grinch trying to take away Christmas from the townsfolk of Whoville below his mountain hideaway. This was so much fun to watch every year as a child. The Star Trek Enterprise episode, Catwalk, aired December 18th, 2002. In this episode, the entire crew takes refuge inside a small maintenance shaft for eight days during a radioactive storm. Happy birthday, Steven Spielberg, born December 18th, 1946. Steven Allen Spielberg is an American director, producer, and screenwriter. He is one of the co-founders of DreamWorks Studios. In a career spanning more than four decades, his films have covered many themes and genres. In later years, his films began addressing humanistic issues such as the Holocaust in Schindler's List, the transatlantic slave trade in Amistad, war in Empire of the Sun and Saving Private Ryan and War Horse, and terrorism in Munich. His other films include Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the Indiana Jones film series, and AI artificial intelligence. He won the Academy Award for Best Director for Schindler's List and Saving Private Ryan. Happy Birthday, Brad Pitt, born December 18, 1963. William Bradley Pitt is an American actor and film producer. He has received multiple awards and nominations, including an Academy Award and a Primetime Emmy Award as producer under his own company, Plan B Entertainment. He first gained recognition as a cowboy hitchhiker in the movie Thelma and Louise. His first leading roles in big budget productions came with the films A River Runs Through It, Legends of the Fall, and Interview with the Vampire. He was also in Seven, Twelve Monkeys, Fight Club, Ocean's Eleven and its sequels, Ocean's Twelve and Ocean's Thirteen. His greatest commercial success may have been Troy, Mr. and Miss Smith, World War Z, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. He received his second and third Emmy Award nominations for his leading performances in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and Moneyball. He produced The Departed and Twelve Years a Slave, both of which won the Academy Award for Best Picture, and also The Tree of Life, Moneyball, The Big Short, all of which nominated for the Best Picture. Happy birthday, Bo Billingsley, born December 18, 1944. He is an American actor and voice actor known as the voice of Jet Black in the popular anime Cowboy Bebop, Ogremon in Digimon, and Hamura and I in the fourth wreckage in Naruto Shippuden. <laughs> In addition to voice acting, he has appeared in many television shows and some films, including North and South, Book 2, Love and War, Just Jordan, the Hannah Montana movie, and Star Trek Into Darkness. After moving to Los Angeles, he was involved in a number of action shows, including T.J. Hooker, Hunter, The Fall Guy, and The A-Team. He was involved in a number of shows including Who's the Boss, Murphy Brown, and Married with Children. On the series Just Jordan, he played Jordan's maternal grandfather, Grant. 
In the TV sitcom Franklin and Bash, he portrayed Judge Douglas. He has also acted in films such as Night Shift, The American President, Hannah Montana the Movie, Halloween H2O, and a remake of The Blob. In 2013, he portrayed Captain Abbott of the starship Bradbury in the feature film Star Trek Into Darkness. His voiceover work starred with, started with radio spots for various businesses and organizations, including Honda, Hood, and the California Highway Patrol. He also voiced Captain Michael Hartland in Argento Somo, O.G. Tanaka in The Legend of Black Heaven. He has also been involved in narrating shows on the History Channel, including Hero Ships, Modern Marvels, and Suicide Missions. He plays Vulcan Vice Admiral Stom in the Star Trek Continues episode, Embracing the Winds. Happy birthday, Bo. Make it a good one. Happy birthday, Casper Van Dien, born December 18th, 1968. Two early breaks for him were reoccurring roles as Ty Moody on the daytime soap opera One Life to Live and the primetime drama Beverly Hills 90210. He took a bit part in the video game Wing Commander 4, he played King Tal in Beastmaster 3, The Eye of Braxis, the second sequel to the 1982 cult classic, The Beastmaster. He also starred in James Dean, Race with Destiny. Soon after, he got the breakthrough role of Johnny Rico in Starship Troopers. His success in Starship Troopers subscribed subsequently resulted in his casting as Tarzan in Tarzan and the Lost City. He next played Brom Von Brunt in Sleepy Hollow. He appeared in Cutaway as well as Titans. He returned to the role of Johnny Rico in Starship Troopers 3, Marauder. He replaced Matt Mullins as Johnny Cage for the second season of the YouTube web series Mortal Kombat Legacy, and he played in Assumed Killer. This guy is just so much fun to watch. Happy birthday, Casper. Happy birthday, Jeff Kober, born December 18th, 1953. He is best known for his role as Sergeant Evan Dodger Winslow on China Beach. Ten years later, in 2001, he appeared in the Star Trek Voyager episode, Repentance, on which he played the role of Eco. The following year, he played Traig in the Star Trek Enterprise episode, Shadows of Pajim. The year before China Beach debuted, he had a supporting role in the made-for-TV movie Laguna Heat. In 1988, besides starring in China Beach, he had major roles in three feature films, Viper, Lucky Stiff, and Alien Nation. He has had steady work on television since China Beach came to an end, having made several guest appearances on Walker, Texas Ranger, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and starring in the short-lived TV series Higher Education and... Kindred, The Embraced. He played Jackson Ward on the Charmed episode, The Power of Two. He has also appeared in several films, including Tank Girl, Enough, A Man Apart, Hidalgo, Lucid, The Hills Have Eyes Too, and Multiple. He also had a small but important guest role on the series 24, he was also in the Folsom Prison Blues episode of Supernatural as the inmate Randall. Remembering Bill Zuckert, born December 18, 1915, and passed away on January 23, 1997. He was a New York-born actor who appeared in Star Trek playing Sheriff Johnny Behan in the episode Spectre of the Gun. His career extended nearly half a century. 
Besides his stint on Star Trek, he has also made guest appearances in such classic TV shows as The Honeymooners, Gunsmoke, My Favorite Martian, Family Affair, Bewitched, Barnaby Jones, Maud, Mary Tyler Moore, and Quincy. He also had a one-year stint as Arthur Bradwell on the Emmy-nominated series Mr. Novak. One of his earliest film roles was an uncredited appearance as a bartender in Odds Against Tomorrow. Other film credits include The Cincinnati Kid, Hang 'em High, The Great Bank Robbery, Hangar 18, and Ace Ventura Pet Detective. His final film appearance was <laughs> as a gigantic mutant old man in Geriatric Park, a short skit spoofing Jurassic Park in 1994's The Naked Gun, 33 and a Third, The Final Insult. Happy Birthday, Judy Shervin, born December 18, 1943. She is an actress who played an unnamed nurse aboard the USS Enterprise in the Star Trek episode Wolf in the Fold. She has also appeared in television series such as The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, The Beverly Hillbillies, The Wild Wild West, I Dream of Jeannie, McLeod, and in the film Palm Springs Weekend. And that's it for today, folks. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.